Maths and science stimulate the mind. They are beautiful subjects to study as they provoke deeper thinking. These days, many schools are joining forces to encourage learners to take up these subjects by means of technology, which makes learning and collaboration between schools easier. Initiatives like e-learning are there for this specific reason. Let's go here and say it's 30. 30? One. Point three one. Yes. Okay. So which villa are we going to subtract? The 15.7. The 15 point Mother of all professions visited schools in Ermelo that use e-learning to find out more about this 21st century technology. This method of learning uses a live feed ensuring that schools get the same quality of education in both mathematics and science. Lake Bron Academy of Technology in Mpumalanga initiated this method of learning with the aim to reach out to the disadvantaged schools. Uh, E-learning regarding our project is uh, a wireless video conferencing project that we use at our school to connect uh, rural and former disadvantaged schools. Whereby Amadena's afunda simultaneously, the fundiswa ngama educators atlugene from different schools. Tina agule ikolo ezinga na suskati serendi sana na ye se wazgumbona ku kamera. Electronic learning, uh, where one school transmits to other schools and teachers are benefiting from uh, one teacher's expertise from one school and other schools. So what we're going to have in our experiment is we're going to use to determine the concentration of potassium at Ma performing schools or better performing schools I was share my ideas with underperforming schools. I was in these underperforming schools and a few resources. I was a benefit out of these better performing schools. Well, the concept of e-learning is basically how to use technology in the classroom to deliver the curriculum and to make sure that uh, we build uh, classrooms or develop classrooms for the 21st century where uh, technology is built into all activities in the classroom. This technology helps schools to uplift the standard of teaching and learning. It develops teaching competence in schools. An interest in maths and science is generated, thus improving results. Our kids at, the, at, at this school are schools from a rural area. They're not growing up in homes where they have all the technology, but technology is the future, so it's much more important for us to have technology exposure to them. And they used to mix it and uh, they also used to TV and they used to the PC and uh, now they come to the class and listen to a boring half an hour session talking and talking. Yeah, but they must check now, they must see if they agree with this learner. So we thought, well, it will be worthwhile to bring in the technology in the class, at least you'll get the attention. And that's exactly what's happening. The five underprivileged schools that benefit from this technology are within a 50 kilometer radius from Lake Bron Academy and they connect via video conferencing by means of digital cameras. Desktop sharing takes place between these schools by using smart boards and Bridget conferencing software, which also makes it possible for the learners to interact live with other teachers.
We teach in Lichtbron and with an interactive whiteboard, they can see me, they can see the lesson. Whatever I do on my board, immediately it will reflect um, on their board. So they can ask me questions. They can stop me, ask me questions. If I don't really understand their question, they can even write it on their board. And then I can see it immediately on my board and we can uh, solve their problems. Yeah, firstly, any you know, observer, Bafundi, they were scared, in fact, to express themselves in English to this counterpart Abo. Nobody has banal inferiority complex. But as time goes on, because even Namakosians are the Babuza one, the Bangako no Pindu, the Bafun Boot, got the Bewaza answers. But as time goes on, but other Baba confidence, but develop confidence. So why was Manjubuza Makosians, no answer Richard Ama Christians, a Baba Buza owner, and Jiseguna do Uti Vele, they are on par with these other dinners above my ex model schools. Learners have to take responsibility for their studies by making sure that they prepare for lessons and that motivates them. It allows them to experience learning in a different light. When I was doing grade 10, ne, Njoba Ved Inden Vele was not introduced. My maths exam, they were very low with physical science and then low with the good thing is on the very thing with physical science in Zima. Physical science is not meant for us. Improve the good physics, especially because last year, physics is very low and this year, it's an improvement. I'm not really cool because uh, my results are not this year. Our fan, my, my results are me. And last year, you know, improve really. More than 10 percent, truly. Uh, especially in maths, I'm able to learn more shortcuts. Than e learning, Kakulu, than e blackboard. Maths from the class thing, because Kakulu physical science, ne? Go physical science, ke ga grade 11, sa sfunda, ne? Kata sfunda in blackboard, banga ga intro to sa ngalin dole. Be sfunda, but then be sfunda stupeg, if it's a figure, is in dole za ma practicals, yabo. Ya, anjo us bega asha, yabo. Lin dole ya ma electronics, lin dole sinza ma physics. Yeah, it's not born a lot, like uh, the simulations. So I know who's visit. We see security seven the range and my mom was there. This technology is fantastic. It allows me to interact with many other schools. I can understand the problems that we have as well as them. And it helps us to know that we're actually on track and we're not falling back in any way and that we're actually doing quite well. Lickburn Academy provides resources to the teachers of participating schools to enable them to further research topics that they cover throughout the year, thus enabling them to deliver their lessons with confidence. E-learning helps to reduce paperwork and improve facilitation of teaching. I'm gaining the knowledge from this e-learning teacher, you understand? Because sometimes when we're talking with maths, it's something else. We have to have a strategy, we have to have a, the method of how to deliver it from, from the learners, you know? But it is a gain of self-confidence to start with. Gandana self confidence, but do I enjoy your lessons? No, Zifunza, Vana guarantee your as Zavava vote, Zifunza Nakazmos called. The content gap on the part of teachers, Yo Ega Kulugas and Jablisa and Oba, Bawas Manjuti, those gaps are valegile as we speak. We all don't know everything, and that, like I said, the approach. Because the teacher is also present there, and he's actually facilitating the whole learning procedure. So he's also learning 
uh, maybe a different view or a different approach to a particular topic. I get extra examples, different ones which I don't have to give my children. So this is extra practicing work for them and this, this really helps the children. Ek myself, I come after as kinders wat rarig sikkel. So ek dink, mens leer om te kyk nie net na kinders in ons skole doen die kinders rechtig goed. Ons is gelukkig om geen druipelinge te heen wiskunde vir paar jaar nou al nie. Maar as skole wat nie so gelukkig is nie. So jy kom achter, as kinders wat rarig sikkel, wat jy moet terug gaan tot die basics, back to basics, wat alle werk aan betref. Lichtbrun Academy of Technology decided to adopt a learning environment that is different from the majority of schools in South Africa. By using available technology, learners and teachers worked smarter, not harder. In 2005, the idea of e-learning was put into place and since its inception, results have improved greatly. The e-learning project at Lichtbron started about in 2005. Uh, Lichtbron Academy bought two smart interactive whiteboards and we connected to the technology classrooms in our school. And I was fortunate that it was one of my classrooms. So we actually start playing with this technology and what we saw immediately is that it changed the whole classroom setup. One day I stepped into his classroom and uh, we had re just received our first interactive whiteboard and Franz was on this board busy with a friend in England interactively uh, drawing pictures, talking to each other and that was via internet. We started to, within the school, to transmit uh, lessons when there's a teacher absent, you know, we, Franz will set up the, the, the technology and then we started and from there we expanded to our project schools, yeah. We as a department get involved because of the visionary leadership of uh, the then Director General, Deputy Director General for Education, uh, Dr Ngumani. Um, she saw the potential of this project, the huge potential of this project and uh, that's how the, the sub-director at Project Coordination get involved in um, coordinating the implementation, the monitoring, and the evaluation of the project. Pressure plays a huge part in the challenges that are experienced. This method of teaching is high maintenance. The equipment is expensive and has to be kept up to standard. Extra money has to be available for insurance in case of theft or equipment breaking down. All die school is niet op jezelf vlak niet. Ze so nou sukkel één school met een specifieke som en die andere klasse sukkel niet met die som niet. En nou moet je stilstaan bij die som en dit weer een keer verduidelijk. We don't have enough uh, feet on the ground in our project. We don't have enough people to can help us. And if something happens, we need someone to, to do it immediately because the teacher must go on. So that is our main concern at the moment is uh, we need more staff on, on our e-learning project uh, team. We have to pay e insurance to safeguard Lama facilities because they are very expensive. And e lightning, which is weather, we cannot do away in Ayo. In Ayo, we have to buy in But the most, which is a pain in my heart, is to align e timetable with the, the host school. You find that when they have mathematics, we have something else here. So aligning that, it coincides with, with, with our plans. The other challenge was to, let, to get the people to buy into the project. You know, people tend to say, why do you want to help me? Uh, is it because I haven't got the knowledge? No, we knew that the people's intelligence is only about opportunities. So uh, that was part of the challenge as well. Ilef Bron is our coordinator, but to notes each and every week if we e-learning. 
So a challenge is that the photocopying machine, especially as Colwen, which will go to I seven, I now ink, maybe in the scene is the figure lang and a corner, a band and about to lang and especially today, for them about to lama notes because it's always a problem. Yeah, photocopying machine. Before we start, it was for computer illiteracy of the teachers. So we have to deal with that, especially in the rural schools. There was nothing. There was chairs and, and tables and that was. But now suddenly bring all this new technology, and it was not. Uh, it, it didn't take four or five years. It was suddenly. It was in, in, in question. It was a month. Everything was in. So we had to deal with the, uh, really. It's the eagerness of the children because everyone wants to work and everyone wants to see how it works. Ermelo has a lot of mines surrounding it. So a lot of mining companies assist with funds to run this project. Teachers need to be trained daily to bring them up to speed with this technology and that is costly. Some sponsors prefer to stick to one school since the beneficiaries of e-learning are schools in rural areas. Being able to bring this initiative to South Africa and actually starting it is an achievement on its own, but the most obvious one is the improvement in results. Well, I know that the, uh, for the schools that we uh, connect with, there was a very big improvement in their results. The e-learning has achieved um, better results for a lot of learners. They can go to universities next year, they can go and study further, they can apply for the job. I don't want to say it's due to e-learning, I want to say it's due to this child um, being encouraged to study harder because e-learning has given her the opportunity um, to understand, to have insight, you know. So I think that e-learning has been there for, to motivate the child um, to, to work harder. This initiative has broadened the learners' minds, especially in the rural areas. They are exposed to other methods of learning, which in turn will motivate them to study further and bring back the knowledge to their community. I think that I think learners who do in other schools En is te makkelijk om te zeggen ja, jullie leerders doen niet goed niet, want dit is nou maar zo. En ik denk, betekent dit, dit is voor al zwart kinders wat rechten goed doen. Ik heb kinders wat gewoon niet gaan geven. Community-wise, uh, it's in the long in the, in the, in the, in the long term uh, where the child will uh, benefit, his marks will improve, he'll go back to university or he'll go up to university, become something and then he will come back to the community. And he, at this uh, point in time, I think the community is not really benefiting so much uh, in terms of e-learning itself. E-learning is giving back to the community in a way because they are becoming technologically advanced. And these are the very learners who are going to become parents for tomorrow in the community. Meaning the moment that you can use a computer from this side, that you can liaise up with some people from other schools, but again, I have confidence. But tomorrow, it's easier to, 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 to go around the world through a computer system. And back on tomorrow, we have a number of things in the assessment. That's what we have to do with the system. We have to do with the system. We have to do with 